Assalamualaikum friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Zed Mentor. So today is the fourth class, part two of the business card design. So last class we stopped over here. We st uh, started over here. Um, we completed the design of it, but now we the the logo is still left. So our logo is this one, and our slogan and is uh, here. You can see. There's our YouTube um, logo and slogan here. It looks very good. And next, we were doing this. And for this one, I just took a screenshot. This over here. So then we we could do, e do it easily instead of going to Google and checking all the the logos for this. So I could just take a screenshot over here, and then paste it. It's gonna be easier, or if you want, you can just go to Google and check for these logos, signs. As you can see over here, it fits, and then I can also add the same thing over here our logo and slogan over here, which looks very good. And remember, before making any business card, you have to place a background behind it, and then you can start working on it. So, if you need to change anything, you can just move the background into it easily but it's important to add a background instead of changing the color of the the whiteboard artboard so over here i added two colors one here and one here but before i i added a full rectangle of the main color you have to add a rectangle on the, of the main color it looks good and it's gonna be easier for you to work as you can see i just added one square piece over here so that matches your design as you can see here and uh, that's all i did with pen tool as you, you saw in the last class we used our pen tool like we learned it at the last class we learned pen tool like this we traced it and in class uh, three we learned how to use the pen tool so this will come in handy today so we did this and we did it and before even uh, doing this, we have to. We also have to switch the colors. But if it's this is still there, you just click on one or the other either side. You just click on the fill color. This is the fill, and this is the stroke. Okay. So fill, um, click on the fill color and uh, delete it. None. And then you can just swap it. So it's gonna be easier for you to work on. Like if you if you're doing this and if you um select fill it's gonna fill everything like you can see you can you won't be able to see where are we doing it so this is also one more tip for you guys and after you have done this um design this business card design next step for your business card design is that how do you present it the most um proper thing to do is presenting so to present it you have to go to google and search free pick free pick you just search this the first link and then um search uh, mockups after this opens you can search business card search it it's gonna take some time but search you can see there are so many so I can I'm gonna choose this one, but also be careful. You it's also you click this PST file because if it's not, it's gonna give you a picture image. You can't like edit on that. So click on the PST one and uh, click anywhere over here. But it's also gonna be some of gonna be paid where the, you can see these crowns heads. They're gonna be paid. So I'm gonna take a free one right here. Over here, I click it and download it. So there's a free download over this. Over here, it's gonna take some time for this to download. And uh, until then, let's try to make this business part a bit good. So we can add a black uh, stroke color over here. We can add a black stroke of uh, white stroke to look good. Yeah, it looks good. So you can just add a stroke of two points. Same thing over here. I'm just add, add, I'm gonna add a stroke. So it's gonna be easier for you to edit this now. Well, this is a rectangle and full rectangle about of the 
and uh, business card so i can just click on the background image and then you can just um click on the stroke and like strength of two points that'll be easier for you you see very good so now let's check for the business card it's almost done and this work is going to be done in photoshop so i'm going to give you just a small tour of the photoshop so then you can start working on it let it come sec four seconds so here you have it just click on it and double click on the mock-up over here the psd file right and so open photoshop now And remember, for this, in, uh, in from beginning class, I already told you we have to use Photoshop, so keep it downloaded. So as you can see, you can see the mockup is over here. So now you take your um the business card and screenshot a part of it, like one part, one side of the business card, front side and the back side. Remember, this is the front side and this is the back side. And then um, mockups for uh, only the back side or only the front side, but today. We took both sides, as you can see here, there are both the sides, two sides. So first side, you can see business card one and business card two, that means the front side and the back side. So this should be the front side and this should be the back side. So let's go to the front side, the business card one is the front side, so double click on this. And you'll see there's one, um, the, the, the person's logo here, I mean the business card. So now you hide this one and add yours. Control V and you just shift and alt and then drag it. It's will make it bigger and bigger. If it doesn't fit, you can shift. Otherwise, you don't need to. So I think for me, it's, um, the dimensions might be different. Let's check. We we'll only press alt and do it. It um, see it does not fit. So I have to press shift just a little bit. If you press too much shift, then I'll destroy the dimension. So you should not do that. If you want to give it to someone, then don't destroy the dimension. So control, now I press control S to save it in the mockup. It's saving. Now I close this tab and you'll see there's one over here. But this white background does not look good, so you can remove it. But I think I like it. So you can also change the background color of the mac of the mockup. It's one hundred percent customizable. So now you can click on the next one, and you can go to the next business card two. You can just close the business card one and go to business card two, and then you can click on this one to change this. Now hide it. Go to the next illustrator. Go to back. Go back to illustrator. And now you take a screenshot of the second one back side of the on the business card and now you go back to photoshop and control v and now you press alt and then do it it won't work so we do shift with it don't destroy the dimensions otherwise it won't look good okay just try to fit it you got some um business card mockups are like this so they won't fit proper as you can see there's some there's one mistake here so to fix that, you can just click on here. If you have any mistake which you don't want, just click over here. You can see he's there's a healing brush. So you click on this, this one, okay? A healing brush. This one is also a healing brush, but this one requires uh, to all click the source. But this one's easier. So click on this one. This one just spot healing brush tool. So click on this and then make it smaller by pressing Alt and Dragging the right key of your mouse, drag it down, down, and that's enough. And I can just do this. All done. All gone. You can't see. And I'm also gonna hide the screenshot so it's You can see. It's all done. As you can see, this is done. It looks good. Now you can control S, yes, and then it's gonna go there. In the mock-up, as you can see, it looks good. And now you can go back to the business card, um, the background. So that's, yeah, here, the background. But this one is the other one. So you can just click, double click on this. It's gonna open this menu up. 
so now you can just go to color overlay and now you can change whatever color you like from here okay and then you can just change any color over here you can just change any color to background but the shadows will stay the same so the dark color will affect the shadows but the light colors will won't so i i would like to choose a reddish tone of pink and blue like this one press the light one okay and then you press ok and you can see you also change the background color and also presented your business card so this is how it looks as the business card and now to save it you just go file export over here you can see export so i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe and then the next one i'll show you the first tour of the photoshop Hello,